Hello there guys, it's me and Sable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 88 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Ottomans. Things are doing quite well for us at the moment. The coalition did start to fall, ap fall apart and interestingly enough Spain left, which is what we wanted to happen. However, uh, our truce with France has now ended. We got a truce with them automatically when they broke the alliance. And now that our truce has ended, France has actually coalitioned us. Which I really don't think should be allowed to happen, considering that France actually has 98 trust. France trusts the Ottomans utterly. Right. They owe us 91 favours, they trust us utterly, but they've coalitioned us because of aggressive expansion. That doesn't make sense. Uh, we'll lose the military power there. But I still think we're going to be in the position to attack Italy at some point. Uh, what we might want to do is get a big stack down here so we can block these troops. So let's go ahead and put you down there. Let's go ahead and pick up another stack of troops and we'll ship them down there as well. We can put a, put a good general in place. So as it stands at the moment, we could go and attack Spain. It's a bring in... Uh, a Native American that we're not bothered about. It would bring in Sex, Sex A. Lewenberg, who... I see Papal State do still exist. They've got um, mains up here. Um, Sex Lewenberg is somewhere around here. I can't remember which one of these little places is Sex Lewenberg. Uh, Bremen. Sex Lewenberg. Okay, so they've, they've got like five provinces, but they're not really an issue. The Commonwealth, however, the Commonwealth is quite large. So if we could find a way to declare war on Spain without the Commonwealth getting involved, uh, that'd be nice. So I am looking at my options for that right now. But we are still making money. We've still got a couple of these um, separatists that might pop. And I'd like to get that dealt with before we do anything else. We've almost got all the conversions done as well. I'm also sucking up to Scandinavia. I was hoping I could get them to ally because they actually have quite a lot of trust for us. Uh, civil war in Utsang. Come on, Scandinavia. You're so close now. You don't like that we're, we're allied to Muscovy, which is a problem, I'll grant you. But you're also a, a rival to Spain. Muscovy isn't, I don't think. Uh, Muscovy. Um, yeah, you, but you are rival to the Commonwealth, so... You know, Scandinavia would help, or, or Muscovy would help. So Muscovy fighting the Commonwealth could be really useful for us. There again, they could just go and screw things up. But we certainly need to wait a little bit. We've got all of our um, heavies now as well. And I think what I'm going to do with the heavies is um, keep them unmothballed. Um, where is the... I actually want the full stack, which is this stack here. And I want you to unmothball. So we'll have 20 heavies. It should certainly help us against the Spanish Navy. Uh, we're going to pick you guys up. Put you on the transport. So we're going to go and drop you off over here. And then we can sort of trap them on this island. They'll have to use uh, they'll have to use transports to get them off. That's kind of the plan. So I think we should wait at least a, a couple of in-game years. See if we can get Scandinavia on board. Um... I think it's probably also a good idea to improve relations with the Netherlands a little bit, because that is slipping away. Uh, Land leader fire. How are we doing on tech? We are actually ahead of time, so yeah, let's go ahead and do land leader fire. Uh, what comes next? Prestige from land battles, don't really care. Siege ability is nice. It's the discipline one we'd really like to get. Um, let's have a quick look at our tech spread here. It's fairly even across the board and I'm tempted to, to leave it that way. We could go... Um, I think we will actually. I think we'll just go full on military right now and uh, get ourselves uh, that discipline if we can. Uh, let's keep seeing if we can fabricate some claims down here. Uh, Napoli we definitely want. So let's get some claims on these. And we all want to have some of... Ah, they're actually moving... At, now, this is interesting. How are they just moving freely through my territory? Grants co conditional military access to the Commonwealth, Ansbach, Spanish Peru. Why, why am I giving access to Spain? I 
Ask for military access. Offer military access. So I'm not giving them access. I'm not at war with anybody. I'm not at war with anybody, but Spain has conditional military access. Ottomans give access to the Commonwealth enemy. Netherlands. Oh, is that why? Are the Netherlands at war? Ah, yes. Netherlands is at war with the Commonwealth. So that's why they are marching through. Well, that's gone ahead and screwed up my little idea there of, of sort of blocking them in, hasn't it? So they've just quite happily marched through my territory and got out of there. That's fine, though. Because if they're in a war with the Netherlands and the Commonwealth... Um, Scandinavia has entered the military coalition. How? They were already in it once and they left. They're at negative two. Yeah, we need to get rid of this coalition before we attack Spain, to, to be realistic here. Internal conflicts in Korea. Another conversion done. Another one will be finished shortly. So come on, let's um let's get the last one done. Then thirty-four months from that date and all of the conversions will be done. How long is this one gonna take? Um July. We're in June. Ninety-eight percent done. So less than a month. Can't believe you, Scandinavia, that's really harsh. There we go. So let's go and work on the final one there. Let's go and uh, get all of those heavies grouped together because they're a bit of a mess at the moment. And we have a light bulb moment. Increasing the trade range or do we go for the tech? We are behind on the tech and the tech would give us more trade efficiency and trade range anyway. So I think we actually go for the tech. So we want to save up for that one. We are behind. Uh, we've lost an advisor. This typically is our military guy. Um, morale of armies is nice. Plus 10% morale of armies. Do you know what? I'm tempted to take that one. Oh, now we've lost the flipping Diplo guy as well. Um, let's go for the trade efficiency. More conversions done. Fantastic. Uh... Are those... Uh, oh, it actually looks like we've got rid of those rebellions. So that's good. We don't have to worry about the rebellions anymore. Minus two on Scandinavia. Uh, I think we can get another claim over here on Spain. Let's go for ca um, Capitanata. There we go. So... Memogen is helping out the Netherlands here. If I was to jump on Spain right now, uh, we'll lose the legitimacy. I don't want to lose the stability. I don't have a free diplomat to send. That's fine. Uh, we've lost a general, which is the one we had over here. This was like our three-star three, three star general who was epic. Uh, let's get another one. And he's not nearly as good, but he's okay. Uh, Ulm has entered the coalition. This is what makes me laugh. People that once left the coalition are now all re-entering the coalition. So that's a little bit stupid. Um, we can actually get another full stack of infantry. So let's go ahead and uh, grab another one down here somewhere. Excellent. Because this would be the perfect time to actually engage Spain, to be honest. Uh, simply because they're already at war with somebody else. Now, come on, Scandinavia. Are you really still out? How can you still be outraged with me when you have positive opinion of me? I think the aggressive expansion has to fall below 50 for them not to be outraged. But clearly that's not going to happen. Not in terms of this game anyway. There's not really anything we can do. Yeah, we'll lose, the, uh, pi we'll lose a little bit of Diplo to gain some piety. There's not really much we can do to make them like me anymore. I mean, even if we were rival to Muscovy, we'd still have the negative 83 aggressive expansion, which would still mean that they would uh, be outraged with me. 
Now then, things are going quite well with the Netherlands. Improved relations can get all the way up to 100, so we're not too far off. I suggest that we allow that to carry on. We'll recall the diplomat at that point and just have a look what would happen if we were to declare war on Spain. See if we've actually got enough to do it, because the Commonwealth are going to have problems of their own right now. Um, we might have to pay off some of Muscovy's debt, get them to come in and help us, but it could be possible. And grabbing all this stuff down here should be quite easy at that point. Let's go ahead and move these heavies and bring and put them down here in Salento so we can get them out quite easily. Uh, let's get the new consorts. Not that it makes any difference really at this stage in the game. There we go. So we'll recall that diplomat from the Netherlands. How much money are we making? Still making 61 ducats a month even when we're at full, uh, full army maintenance. Okay, so if we were to go and declare war on Spain right now... The Netherlands wouldn't come in. Muscovy wouldn't come in because they are in debt. They still have manpower issues, which I can't do anything about. The Commonwealth would still come in to help them. We need the Commonwealth to get a little bit more war exhaustion to lose a few more men. Then we'd actually have a bit more of a chance here. Unfortunately, Spain do have some troops up there sieging out the Netherlands. Now, the thing is, I'm not terribly concerned about the uh, coalition because I'm not actually going to be attacking anyone that's in the coalition. However, if I lose a lot of men uh, during battles, the coalition might decide that that's a good time to strike. So it would be really nice if we could get out of the coalition. Uh, what have we got here? Um, admin power, diplo power... We don't want people leaving our court. We'll just take the uh, mercantilism. Losing the stability is always annoying. But we can go ahead and, and boost it up. And you know what? We're going to just take that up to three straight away. Because that will help out with some other issues as well. Um, Constantinople. Well, we'll just take the admin power, I think. Don't want to lose 25% uh, of the tax coming from Constantinople. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, are we still actually building this um, this fleet up? Well, we've just got one ship that's not quite managed to uh, meet up with the rest of them, and they're still sort of floating around. They are supposed to get together and merge, but sometimes it takes a bit of time for that to happen. Um, France is in a couple of wars. Nothing really significant. Uh, they, do, they are still outraged with me. Now, our aggressive expansion there is actually 117 so we've got more aggressive expansion with france than we have with scandinavia scandinavia is still outraged we can go ahead and get that that will give us more trade efficiency so we should find that we start making more money now yeah unfortunately a lot of the stuff in the commonwealth that was getting sieged is now getting unsieged which is not good. And there's a massive, massive stack here. I mean, look, they've got like 150,000 troops over here. And they've got another 40,000 over here. They've got 60,000 still in Spain proper. The problem is, if we end up declaring this war and dragging the Commonwealth in, we'd need to take so much land. We really need to try and find a way to get Spain involved without bringing the Commonwealth in, if it's at all possible. And we can't declare war on Lenepe because we haven't met them. Only we could find Lenepe. And we haven't discovered any of the New World yet, really. Um, what else could we do? Are they protecting anybody? They've got colonies. Yeah, there's nothing we can do unless we want to attack Sax Lewenberg. Uh, attacking Sats Lewenberg would bring in... Oop, wrong button. Uh, attacking Sats Lewenberg would bring in the HRE. Which is unfortunate. How big is the HRE these days? Trier, Munster, Bravia, Ansbach, Alsace, Oldenburg. Yeah, Brandenburg is still in... The HRE does still exist. As small as it is. But, um... The Netherlands are getting... Who actually started this war? Defender. 
in the Commonwealth uh, Commonwealth Memminger Imperialist War. So it was the Commonwealth that started it. I was going to say, um, the Netherlands isn't the direct target of the war, which is the reason they didn't call me in. But they're really having a hard time of this at the moment. But most of the Spanish troops are actually ho over here, though, which is certainly an interesting development. More heretics converted. Let's go ahead and get some more units around the uh, the top here. I think we are going to have to start thinking about um, doing this, if we're ever going to do it. But yeah, I just would like to see the coalition a little bit more destabilized before we actually go ahead and do that. So still making money. You're still outraged with me. Um, again, not really bothered. Yeah, there's not much we can do with France. Keep our eye on Spain. If there's ever a point where we can declare war and the Commonwealth refuse to come in, that'll be ideal for us. Um, Muscovy are probably um, still in a little bit of debt. That's only giving minus 10, but they're now fighting in another war. So it's going to be difficult to get them both in. Um, now Anhalt has entered the coalition. Uh, let's go and fabricate a claim on uh, Salerno. So we've got claims on all of this now. Not that we need the claims, but we can get claims on these as well. Those are the provinces that I want to take. There's only 30-something years left uh, of the game. So we're going to have to get this done... Quite quickly. But yeah, I I'm, I'm really need to pick my moment. Because if I, if I do this at the wrong time, the coalition will trigger. And there's no way really that I can fran fight France, the Commonwealth, Scandinavia, the HRE and Spain all at the same time. I was hoping that we could get France to like us again a little bit more. But that aggressive expansion will take far too long to burn off. Come on, Scandinavia. You guys like me. We're the enemy of your enemy. Yeah, we're allied to your rival, but... You see, again, I really don't want to... Um... Yeah, we're over the limit now. Um... You're not that much better than anybody else, really. Oldenburg is the new emperor. Uh, merchants losing loyalty. Oh, we don't want peasant regiments. Lose ducats. Yeah, we'll lose the ducats. That'll be fine. So, yeah. Can you guys just hurry up and like us? You see, I, I could say, well, let's break our alliance with the Commonwealth. And then we'll have more chance of Scandinavia liking us. But the problem is, there's no guarantee that Scandinavia would ally me. And if they won't ally me, and I've broken my alliance with Muscovy... Did I say the Commonwealth? I meant Muscovy. If I break my alliance with Muscovy, then there's even more chance the coalition will trigger against me. So I have to be very, very careful here. Offensive ideas. Um, yeah, we don't really want or need that, but we'll take it anyway. I'll tell you what I haven't looked at for a while. Uh, what are the policies we could potentially take? Hostile core creation cost on us. Not bothered about that. Land limit force modifier. We could take uh, a bigger army if we wanted. Improve relations plus 20%. Diplomatic rep. It's kind of all pointless right now. Um, we've done all the conversions. That's it. There are no provinces within um, the Ottomans that are not Sunni. Look how much Sunni is in, up into Europe now. We're all up into Europe's face. So we just need this stuff down here. Come on, game. You've got to give me a way in here. You've got to give me some sort of option to get something done. Because this is just no good as it is. I don't like it. Um, Commonwealth would still be willing to come in. Muscovy would still not. How, how much does um, Muscovy like me at the moment? That could be a little bit better, couldn't it? Let's go ahead and do that. 
Now we might finish fabricating these three claims over here before we bring that diplomat from Spain. Obviously it'll be quite costly to do the next few. We need 40. Uh, well, we're already at 30, so I guess we can get at least one more. And that would sort of make sense. But um, who was that war against again? It was the Commonwealth attacking Memminger. Where's Memmingen? They are um, somewhere in here. I never remember all of the places within the HRE. I'm terrible for it. That's Holm. Uh, Wurzburg, Sex Lewenberg, Brandenburg, Oldenburg, Bremen. Um, we're going to Piety. You are this one here that's being sieged. No, that's Mainz. I thought I just highlighted it for. Oh, this one here, this one little tiny province that's getting completely, already completely sieged out. So I can't imagine that war lasting too much longer. But of course the entire HRE is involved in that because um, it's, an, it, it's a threat from outside the HRE. Look how much the Commonwealth has actually eaten its way into, into Europe. I mean, the Commonwealth is right over here near France now. I mean, it really has taken some big chunks out of uh, Europe here. So that's not necessarily a good thing. Are you going to stop hating on me anytime soon here, Scandinavia? I'm going to say probably not. It's going to come to a point where I'm just going to have to attack Spain and hope for the best. I've probably got a few too many troops down here, to be honest. And as a result, I'm going to get one of these um, stacks and sort of bring it back home. Because I think this is where the majority of the action is going to be. I like to keep a fair few down here in case Spain try and attack this way. But I'm not necessarily sure that that is going to be required. We'll leave these two stacks here because this one can go over here and start sieging out here. And this stack can start sieging out over there. Um, Tech-wise, again, we're slightly behind. We really want to pick up the next military tech if we can. Because it'll give us better flanking, better morale, better tactics, and new infantry. So we really want that one. We want that over the siege ability. As nice as that siege ability would be, we need to have the better troops. Um, trade range isn't that important to us either. So yeah, we'll be putting most of our points into tech uh, for the next while. So, uh, Commonwealth is being um, sieged out by rebels, which is always nice. Uh, is that war over? No, it's still going on. Spain's opinion of the Ottomans change. Lose 100 diplo, lose 5 prestige, and we lose a claim. No, let their opinion of me change. It's already negative 200 because we're rivaled. As long as I don't rejoin the coalition, we'll be fine. This is the problem. I really need to attack Spain before they decide to rejoin the coalition. And I don't know if and when that is going to happen. How much more improving can we do with the with um, Muscovy? Another 27. I guess we should probably wait that one out. Again, I really wish you were... You, uh, the Commonwealth has entered... Right, the Commonwealth had left it. And Spain... There we go. Just as I was saying it probably won't happen, it goes and happens, which is unfortunate. Royal marriage offer from Crimea. Uh, Brandenburg is entered into a coalition against us. So even though we haven't taken anything for a while, I think we're going to end up with a big coalition war on our hands. So with that in mind, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as the Ottomans. I'll see you next time. And until then, goodbye for now.